with exploratory probes scouting out Earth's neighboring planets and moons, space agencies are working to develop the next generation of habitats to get crews there and far beyond. This week NASA named its six partners for developing crafts to house a human crew in deep space. Concept habitats will be built here on Earth, to help the space agency gain a better insight into the needs and opportunities for extensive manned missions around the Moon and beyond. NASA has released artists' impressions from its six contenders, which come from well-established aerospace firms already working with space agencies on satellite and probe technology. Included in the mix is Bigelow Aerospace, the Nevada-based firm behind the inflatable pod recently installed on the International Space Station, as well as long-standing partners Boeing and Lockheed Martin. The partnerships are part of NASA's Next Step program, which will see a mix of private and public expertise and resources combined to push the existing boundaries of manned space exploration, initially testing a manned habitat near the Moon as a testing ground for Mars and beyond. The Next Step partnerships are a large contribution to the dual objectives of advancing deep space habitation development and stimulating commercial activities in low Earth orbit, said Jason Cruzen, NASA's Director of Advanced Exploration Systems. Earlier this year, Cruzen highlighted the importance of collaboration in pushing the boundaries of space exploration. He said, NASA is increasingly embracing public-private partnerships to expand capabilities and opportunities in space. All of the habitat designs incorporate the same core components, including a pressurized space for the crew to live, along with environmental control and life support systems. They will also include propulsion technology, docking capability as well as sufficient radiation shielding, to protect the crew inside from the harsh environment of space. Building prototypes on the ground will enable extensive testing and provide NASA and its partners crucial data on how the various systems interact. Boeing will develop a modular habitat based on the firm's experience gathered from working on the ISS for more than 15 years. The full-scale prototype will be built on the ground to test the systems and the suitability as a habitat for astronauts for extended periods. A second approach will see Lockheed Martin refurbish a multi-purpose logistics module, similar to the ones which carry cargo to the space station while Orbital ATK will continue development of a habitat based on its unmanned Cygnus spacecraft, which has also made successful delivery runs to the ISS. One of the partners is basing its prototype of a low-Earth orbit plane to transport up to seven passengers. Sierra Nevada Corporation plans to use its Stream Chaser spacecraft along with an inflatable module, testing all systems together. The inflatable approach is already being tested in space with Bigelow's expandable beam habitat installed aboard the space station. The firm aims to expand on this success further with an even larger 330 cubic meter pod called this base. The final partner is the Exxion team, a conglomerate of three small aerospace space firms which will look at converting a rocket's launch stage into a pressurized habitat.